Let's see where we left off. Remove the sheet. This this is amazing, dude. You've got like a giant greenhousey thing for art. Oh wow. That's some blues. Is that supposed to be me? Is that my nose? I think it might be. Oh, I don't know. Oh my god, could we do a little painting? We might be allowed to do a little painting. I just have to clean up first. Let's clean up the studio. Oh my god. That's twice in under an hour. I have almost cried. Already. This game's its not even started. Also, this wheelchair is fucking amazing. I saw a video the other day about the Japanese have escalators that will take wheelchairs now. And this shit is just a, another step that's super fucking cool. Um, also, I've just realised that our synthetic fluid is blue. So that might be blue blood. So, what's your verdict, Marcus? I like it. I like the colors, I like the, sh the shapes. Yes, there is something about it. Mm. Something I can't quite define. I guess I like it. Uh the truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Give it a try. Try painting something. Paint? What would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. <sighs> Okay, all right, sure. It makes sense that like an android that works for a dude who does art would be the one that begins to question like the logic and the science and stuff. Can we paint Carl? No, we could paint the statue, we could paint the desk. Is that it? I'd, I'd like to paint Carl, but I don't think I have the option. I can't copy Carl's painting, that's not right. Let's paint the desk. Oh. It would make sense that, yeah, like, this is a guy who... Well, this is a, an android that's been exposed to the arts and humanities, so he begins to question things, even in public. Like, you could see on his face when he was in the bus. That is a perfect copy. Of reality. The painting is not about replicating the world, it's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go, try it. Grab that canvas. See, this is the step, is beyond the programming. This is the become human element. This is something we struggle with with robots at the moment, is they just replicate. There's no soul. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust me. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. Get the ghost in the shell. Uh, I'm going to say identity. I think that's the thing that he's going to struggle with the most. I think he's beginning to struggle with it. Uh, not prisoner. Identity as an android.
I like how, again, I like how we could see the thought process because of the colour of the neural chip thing. Whatever it is. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Uh-oh. It's the deadbeat son. Hey, Dad. Leo. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? Do you want money? You all right? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, well, it just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear, it's not that. No, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash, that's all. Sorry. The answer is no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd rather you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's what's he got that I don't? It's smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine. Hey, Leo, that's enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me. Lovely. I saw that red light when he got pushed. Typical drug addict guilt trip. Do not listen to him, Carl. That was nasty. Oh, here we go. So, let me just have a little uh, move back here. So, like, possibly the the connection with, between Car and Marcus is the drugs. That would make sense, right? Um, we had three choices we could have done. I read the North Pole Russia thing. Uh, we played some chess. Uh, I chose to draw, um, etc., etc. So there's a few different ways you could have gone, but really most of this is just um, yeah other choices that we could have made. I, d I think Leo still turns up at the end. Um, oh my goodness! Okay, we're going to the next bit, next chapter. So this is night time. Yeah, 11 p.m. Jimmy's bar. Two Face. <laughs> oh, oh shit! This is um, uh, this is negotiator. No androids allowed. Owners will be prosecuted. Can't. What are we going in? Well, this is going to be fun. Find Lieutenant Anderson. Is this a pl is this a cop bar? Scan the faces. Hang on, I'm gonna have to move. Surely it's this guy here. Oh, hello. Oh, hang on. Terrible, terrible aiming. Sorry. Mismatch. Edward Dempsey. You. Peterson and Jimmy. Gray Christopher. I'm a cop, mate. What are you gonna fucking do? Okay, you? Are you Lieutenant Anderson? Dennis Ward, narcotics supplier. Oh dear. I think he might be in the toilet based on uh, whatever's going on in there. All right, cool. Should we have a little look in the loo? What could go wrong in the toilets? I 
Okay. Hey, get out of here. Hello? Some fucking talking shit at me. Talking shit at me, boy. You. You're not him. Are you? No. Where the fuck is he? Oh, hang on. Is he? It's not you, is it? I bet he's in the toilet. I bet he's having a shit. It's not him. I've just scanned him, haven't I? Yeah, no. Uh, domestic abuse. Oh, brilliant. Another scumbag. <sighs> Good grief. Here he is. Oh, mate. You look a bit down on your luck. What the fuck happened to you? Why have you got... He's got long hair and a beard. Maybe he's retired. Let's have a look. Mr. Anderson. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. Wow. Um, I'm going to persist. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I must insist. My instructions stipulate that I have to accompany you. You know where you can stick your instructions? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> where? <laughs> Never mind. Oh, for okay. So I'm gonna have to like. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. Uh, I'm gonna buy you another drink. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say, bartender? The same again, please. See, that gym wonders of technology. Make it a double. Fucking dreads, man. They look really good. Hair. His hair's not as nice. But it's not bad. Oh. <sighs> Did you say homicide? Should we have a chat? Holy fuck. That's cool. Oh no! Um, this is not what I thought it was. This is not the hostage site. Oh my god! Dude, you should not be drink driving. You wait here. I won't be wrong. Okay, Clancy Brown. My instructions are to accompany you to the crime scene, Lieutenant. Listen, I don't give a fuck about your instructions. I told you to wait here. So you shut the fuck up, and you wait here. <laughs> okay. I'm just, I'm gonna play it like a sort of like confused data of like, I don't understand that right now. Josh Douglas for Channel 16, can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. There's a drone there with a camera. Amazing. All right, excuse me. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. Oh. Thank you. What part of staying in the car didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Evening, Hank. We were starting to think you weren't going to show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. <laughs> so? Yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We had a call around eight from the landlord. Kevin hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by, see what was going on. That's when he found the body. Jesus, that smell. It was even worse before we opened the window. Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Well, stayed easy. Wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. 
Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more from the car. Oh. Oh, look, it's that stuff. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone up. Tried blood. Carlos Ortez. 19 days. On the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. I'll be outside if you need. A bit grim in here. So 19 days he's been dead. The android is missing. He's been to a club at some point. And he's been doing red ice, which is the thing we definitely saw Todd do. So Todd is dealing red ice, surely. And that's also what uh, Carl's son must be doing. Okay. Oh, shit. I'm slightly stuck. There we go. Um, I'm going to come back to the body. Because they're kind of clamouring it a bit. Oh, hello. Examine. Turn. Uh, come on. Come, come, there, there. Oh, come on. Perfect. It's way too neat. No cute. Okay, so like that's fingerprints. This. Signs of a struggle. Alright, three out of ten we have on evidence. We have a baseball bat. He tried to defend himself. I think we can probably safely say. Traces of uh the ethereum or whatever we're calling it the uh the uh, synthetic blood his fingerprints yeah so he defended himself against something deviant took a knife we got can i turn this no not that much Deviant was attacked. Emotional shock. I thought we were saying they didn't have emotions. Chris, was this written in the victim's blood? I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. Right, okay. Oh, 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 I can't get in this... Like party. Can't get in this corner. Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. Android sex. Well, there we go. Okay. Android strip club. Anything else down here? Oh, hello. We've hey, got. Mike, you finished taking samples there? Yeah, that's it. Uh, what's this? Obsessive writing. R A G. Oh, fucking hell. Why has no one found this? It looks slightly religious, doesn't it? Hmm. Alright. So, defective droid is possible. But... I wonder if there's something else going on here. What? Oh, hello. Footprints. Door was locked from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. Tracks could have faded. No, this type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. Yeah, motherfucker. Useful now, aren't I? All right. I want to check these knives, but I don't seem to be able to go in this corner. Like, it's just not viable, so I think we just have to leave it. It's 
nothing that way. Like, the deep, the deviant must have gone out the front door. Uh, anything on the bed? I checked the cupboards. I need to check the body. But, um, I also need to check. No, nope, done the red ice. All right, let's examine. Oh, oh my God, that's grim. Like, well played on the modeling, but that's pretty accurate there. I look forward to this being demonetized to fuck on YouTube because the bot goes, Aah! which is fair, it's fair, that's fine. The cat is also on the desk, which is very helpful right now. I'm trying to analyze a dead body, Libby, and your butt is in the way. Red ice. So he was off his tits when this went down. Also, can you not... Oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, fuck. She's leaning on the mouse. Hang on. Oh, God. Can you... Ugh. There we go. I've saved it. Saved it. We almost lost the recording. Uh, life would have been very fucked up if that had happened. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Eyes. Time of death. Possibly 11.30 p.m. 19 days ago. Oh. Victim fell here. But he was stabbed there with the knife from the kitchen. Uh, and they came from the kitchen. Yeah, we knew that. Also, I noticed several stab wounds there. That's passionate. He was stabbed 28 times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. Mm, that's personal. You don't do that. Unless something's going on like that. Can we also talk about I am alive? Regular letters, font, Cyberlife Sans. So they were saying it could be a droid because it's so regular. And it could be the droid went defective and was like, look, I am a per well, I say went defective, was like, look, I am a person. If the android was angry enough, I mean, we've seen that Marcus was pushed. Twice he's been pushed and knocked down and his thing's gone red briefly. We saw Daniel. Is that the knife? Yeah, there it is. So it's viable, potentially. No fingerprints. This is looking very android. I'm missing two bits of evidence. I've done that, blood. It's that knife. I, uh, it's the, the, the sideboard I can't get to. Also, this. Like, what is this? Why can't I investigate it? Oh, there we go. That's how we do it. All right, okay. Can I do this one? No. Like, this is the one I'm struggling with. There's one more somewhere that I've missed. It's not that. Uh, it's not the chair. Is it this? Yes. There we go. So it's just some bits of blood where he staggered from the, uh, the bathroom. Uh, the bathroom, the kitchen. Cool. So, now what? I guess I just walk out. No, I have to report to you. Why isn't it letting me report to you? I guess I have to go straight at your face. Oi! Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started in the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android... With the bat? With the bat. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. stabbed the victim 
The android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... The lounge. The living room, sorry. The living room. Oh, he got sliced and diced. Fucking hell. And he tried to get away from the android. All right, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim. With the knife. With the knife. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous. But it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' bio components. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh. But I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah. Okay. Search for blue blood traces. Hello. No. This way. Okay. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. We know he didn't go out the door. Oh, did he go out the window? The windows. The walls. Oh. Or what if he never left? Oh shit, hang on. I don't think he ever left. A ladder was used. Or oh, he went out the roof. Motherfucker went out the roof. Whoa! Pfft, I found some mops. <laughs> He's up there. In the attic. Find something to climb. Can't we just jump? Alright, okay. Here we go. Something over here. Or maybe outside. What is this? What? I don't want to read this. I ain't got time to read some books. Why are you asking me about android sex? Officially being better. How fucking dare you? What else is on? Is your android spying on you? Oh. Yeah, that combined with drugs is probably not helping. Shit. Okay. That's bad. Um, that's not what I need. Ah, a chair. Here we are. Give me this chair. Oops. Stuck on everything. Hey, hey, hey. What are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. I'm going to check something. Check something. God. Careful. There might be an android in here. He might be gonna kill you. Oh shit. Well I think he's still in the attic. Something's going on. Okay, try not to pee yourselves, everybody. Oh, it's a mannequin. Damn you! Okay, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Oh! Okay, good. I'm glad it's still in here. Brilliant. Oh, we get to see our first, like, fully defective... Well, I say fully defective. We saw Daniel. I think, are they defective? Or is that what we're calling... Humans are calling them because they are daring to have the ghost in the shell soul. Oh! Oh, my God! Hello?
I was just defending myself. He was gonna kill me. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? It's here, Lieutenant! What? Oh my god, I didn't even have a chance! Chris, Ben, get your asses in here now! Come on! I'm so sorry. That's totally it though, isn't it? Check out all the blue bits. Check out how much I found the Deviant. Oh, I could have not found him. I did my job too well! Shit!